Hey Pisces, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today you guys, I'm actually coming with the blue moon message for you guys. What is it that you guys need to release at this time? Matter of fact, let me go get those moon or oracles. Okay Pisces, <laughs> sorry about that. But yes, I'm on tack now. So yes. This is going to be for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. I decided to start with you guys first because y'all always have to come last for some reason. So, you know, well, I mean, I guess you guys are the babies of the Zodiac. But at the end of the day, I'm putting y'all first today when it comes down to this. And what it is that you need to release when it comes down to this full moon that's coming up here on the 31st. The blue moon. All right, Spirit. So, what is it that... Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node needs to be releasing for this full moon. Mm -hmm. You need to be releasing anything that disturbs your peace because I'm definitely getting peace in reverse for some of you guys. So there are certain situations, circumstances, or even places that you must frequent that are throwing you off kilter as far as it goes to your inner peace i'm seeing surrender here so for the, for me that means that you guys are in resistance you guys need to release resistance when it comes down to whatever it is that spirit is trying to show you and or tell you when it comes to your surroundings and the things that you need to let go of things that no longer serve you okay so you need to be serendipitous and kind of roll with the flow and you know take these synchronicities and these signs literally especially when you have that unction in your gut that there's something that you need to let go of or disassociate yourself with um but you continue to stick around it and you know the feeling never goes away it's like that undying nagging feeling in your gut that's telling you like something isn't right about this place this person is these people or this thing you know so there's a need to stop resisting all right, so with sovereignty in the upright, that's letting me know that you guys kind of need to let go of codependency. Like, be whole within yourself. Somebody that is sovereign is somebody that is free. Somebody that isn't indoctrined, isn't programmed, but they go off their own belief system. All right? And I feel like that's the reason why you guys are off your path. So if you've been wondering what you need to release in order to get on your path, then... Uh, is whatever um whatever is disturbing your peace you need to release resistance and you also need to become sovereign here develop your own thoughts your own ideas forge don't follow you know what i mean so yeah there's a need for you to become whole within yourself maintain your autonomy regain and maintain your autonomy okay but I see a change, a shift coming for you guys very soon. These could be things that you guys are going to be forced to release if you guys don't voluntarily release them. Why is peace in reverse for Pisces? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, and what did I say? There's a codependency here, you know? There's a codependency here with the nine of pentacles in reverse. Maybe you guys are not at peace with being single. Maybe at this time you're in a situation where you can't quite take care of yourself, but you're dealing with somebody that has betrayed you, you know, over and over to the point of no return. Like you've already reached the, the, you've already reached the ending of a situation, but if you sticking around it could be for the purposes of you being afraid that you won't get what you deserve. But what I'm seeing here is that you need to surrender to the divine because God is going to be your source and your resource and provide for you at times that you may feel like you couldn't make it through. All right. So whatever it is that you can be doing to make money or if you sticking around in a certain situation for convenience, spirit is saying release that because your lack of peace is... You sticking around in a place that doesn't give you peace, you know, because you feel like you can't take care of yourself or you fear being by yourself or you have abandonment issues or any of that, then that's going to bring more of that into your life. Like you need to go ahead and embrace some type of bravery, some type of courage and surrender. Why is surrender here in reverse? Yes, walk away from something here. 
spirit is watching over you. I mean, I know that's the moon's face, but it's definitely, you know, your spiritual team that's watching over you, that's there, that has your back. And I feel like spirit wouldn't guide you in a different direction if it was going to lead you to despair and disaster, which it seems as though this situation over here already has. <clears throat> this could definitely be a relationship where somebody is constantly giving to other individuals, giving their energy, their time, you know, anything, anything. But at the end of the day, you've been wanting to walk away from it, but maybe you codependent on this person. You feel as though you can't make it without this person, place, or thing, because keep in mind, this can be a negative job too. Maybe you feel like, okay, well, my job is my end all be all. Without it, I have no money. Without it, I can't take care of myself. And even though they screw me time and time and time again, you know, I just feel like it'll go from bad to worse if I left, you know? And maybe it's you that has multiple responsibilities. Maybe you're the breadwinner in the household that you live in. Maybe you have a sick parent that you have to take care of, but it's looking like you have to spread yourself pretty thin. So that's the way that can be read if it's for a career. You know, you just sticking around at a job where they don't have your best interest at heart. There's a need to love yourself right now. There's a need to understand that your ancestor spirit and spirit guides definitely love you. And spirit wants you to show some um, undying love for yourself. You know, spirit needs to see and needs you to see that outside of a romantic love that is causing you a lot of pain. There's peace beyond that. There's love beyond that. But you first must exhibit love for yourself before you can move forward. All right. And I feel like action will be taken. Like if you take action on trying to do the inner work and releasing yourself from a situation that's just keeping you caught up in your head and like stagnating you because when we... When we get ourselves up, like when we get caught up in our head, a lot of times it's a lot of delusions, illusion, depression, and we see things from like an angle in which we shouldn't be seeing it in. You're not really trapped. That's what spirit trying to tell you. Set yourself free because you are free. Be sovereign again. Be okay with starting from scratch. Be okay with being ambitious again. All right? Stop trying to convince yourself that something is okay when it's not. When you have been given all the signs that you need by your angels and ancestors that something isn't. Even your emotional state. If you know you're not normally a depressed person, then there there has to be some type of indication that what you are, what you are dealing with isn't healthy. And what I'm seeing here is that spirit is actually trying to offer you a way out, okay? Not just spirit, but I feel like those that are around you, your ancestors as well, they're trying to wake you up and offer you a better solution, whether it's coming in the form of a person or whether it's just giving you love genuinely, like making it easier for you to walk away from this. But you first have to have faith in the process and spirit, and in yourself all right so i definitely see false individuals are going to be revealing themselves around this time people with negative intentions why is the nine of pentacles in reverse and for a lot of you it's not a current relationship for a lot of you it's a situation ship and you hanging on to it because you don't want to be single so you just trying to hang on and wait for something to change but it's not changing why is the nine of pentacles here yeah, you need, you trying to avoid an ending, but guess what? That ending is going to be worse than before. Meanwhile, you got somebody here that's taking all your resources. And even if they're not physically going in your wallet, going in your purse and taking money, this is somebody that's coming into your life and draining your finances, encouraging you to spend money on things that you don't need. Oh, just put something down on the bills and let's go get a big screen TV or let's go get me a PS4 or whatever the case may be. But whoever this is around you that you're trying to stick around for because either you don't want to be single or whatever, you don't, you feel like you can't take care of yourself or you feel like you can't survive on your own, this person is going to make it harder for you to even survive with them, to be honest. 
Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yes, you're not listening to the divine. When I see high honor, that's you being guided by God. And Spirit is trying to lead you away from this situation. All right? Why is the Nine of Pentacles, I mean, Nine of Wands here? <sighs> And see, a lot of you guys feel like it's too hard to start over. You don't want to get back out there and find new love, you know. So I, I see for most of you guys, this is going to be a love situation. We sticking around in a bad situation because maybe you just feel like you missed the boat. You know, there's a need to restore your hope. Not even that, but it's, it, it's a need to heal, you know. It's a such thing as Stockholm Syndrome. When you just feel comfortable and safe with somebody that's treating you wrong, then you to the point beyond repair. I don't want to say beyond repair, but you're to the point where it's going to be very difficult for somebody to convince you that you need help or you need to get out. Because essentially when you, when you develop Stockholm Syndrome, it's almost even like feeling like safe with somebody that is harming you. And harm can come in many different ways. It doesn't just have to be physical harm. But when people harm your psyche, your emotional state, your financial state, or your spiritual state, that's abuse as well. All right, so let's get the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah, it's time to take action. Whether this is a divorce, you know, or I feel like this, this person is going to take action. Because I got two letters here. So if you married to an individual that's treating you like this or that's making you feel like nobody's ever going to want you, you might as well stay with me, whatever the case is, the person, the person is whoever you're dealing with, either, either they're going to separate from you or you them. All right. But you are going to get some type of sign from divine that there's better on the other side of this here. A beautiful place to stay, you know, and you don't see that protection, wish fulfillment, like it's so much coming in for you, great fortune, the life that you want, but there's a sacrifice that has to be made. And that sacrifice is something that keeps you feeling defeated, feeling like a prisoner in your own mind, feeling like you're paranoid, feeling like you don't love yourself, feeling betrayed, feeling invisible. This person is doing all that, you know? So there's a need to really truly think about, think and think again. Think and think again, because sometimes you think you know, but honestly, take a take a assessment of your life and ask yourself, is this person adding more positive to my life or is it negative? All right, let's get an outcome and some advice for Pisces. Outcome and advice for Pisces spirit. You're very close to achieving your goal. All right. Bring love into the situation. And so what I say would bring love into the situation because it's not that it's not that you bring a hate to the situation, but there is kind of a need to understand from a spiritual standpoint why things have transpired the way that they have. A lot of times when we've outgrown a relationship, it's literally because the cycle is complete, but we refuse to let go. So there's a need from you for you to understand from a compassionate standpoint why things are coming to an end. And it's a need for you to entertain the visualization of what your life can be once you wrap up this cycle. Because letting go of what is no longer meant for us makes room for what actually is. All right. So let's get one more. And that goal is peace and happiness and sovereignty. So when it says you're very close to achieving a goal, I feel like you guys are very close to living a life that you want to live, but there's a need. Yeah, you got to understand that you're good enough. Even if somebody made you feel like you weren't, there's a need for you to balance your spirituality and practicality. So you don't need to just be living in those higher chakras. There's a need for you to get grounded and also understand that situations like this block your creativity because it blocks your confidence you know it blocks your stability because it blocks your root chakra you know it blocks your relationship with family members you know it blocks a lot so with that being said understand that you're good enough redevelop your 
confidence, the confidence that you came into the situation with communication is key here is at the bottom of the deck and look at the bigger picture is definitely one of the things that I was definitely seeing, especially with the Aquarius card, um, bring love into the situation. It's like, look at the bigger picture. It's not about what you lose in today. It's about what you're going to be gaining tomorrow, including self-love and self-respect. So I hope you guys love this reading. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one.